Hello and welcome to the Generational Gamer. I got something new from DK Oldies. Now, I've often spoken about my like of DK Oldies. They've always treated me pretty good, so why not? Let's see what we got. Okay, Tetris Worlds and Clone Wars. Okay. I'm gonna put the price right here so you can see. But I got this game really cheap, and only because I wanted to complete my collection for my Xbox. It happens to have that box which are, where it comes with this, but I didn't get the game. So I just wanted to complete that. Let's take a quick look at the game. And... Disc is a little scratched up, but it looks like it's perfectly playable. The case is in pretty good shape. And the manual, other than a few little nicks in there, it's in pretty good shape too. So yeah, no complaints. Yeah, I guess I figure you know how to play uh, Tetris. So yeah, even that's pretty good. It's not great, it's not terrible either. See? Alright, moving right along. Next up, we have... Crimson Skies. Now, this is a not-for-resale version. Who knew? I didn't know there was such a thing. In any case, this one is backwards compatible with the Series X, which is how I plan to play it. But I'll, of course, test it on my regular Xbox as well. So let's open it up. Disc is in pretty good shape. There's a couple smudges on it, but nothing significant. More importantly, the label is okay. And then look, this one came with the headset thing, the Xbox... The Xbox Live thing, yay. And then the manual, which is also in good shape. Now, in fairness, I always put in a note whenever I buy anything from DK Oldies. And when Joey, hey, I hope all is well. You know the kind of quality I like. So, I mean, you can put notes in there. And I am not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. But I do have my very own code because I asked them to make one. And finally, I think I paid like three bucks for this game. Assassin's Creed 2. Now I'm thinking that with this one, since this is also available, that's playable on the, when I say available, I mean it's playable on the Series X. I have the, the uh, in Ezio pack coming. So what I may actually do is do a comparison. Just see how they look side by side with some cutscenes. Since they all use in-game graphics. But yeah, package is real good. Open it up. You can tell this is from a time when manuals were getting smaller and smaller or even invisible. But it's in pretty good shape. i would be honest, I already looked at them. And then the DVD. It has a couple little scratches, nothing significant. I have no doubt it'll play. And I'll try it on my 360 just to make sure in addition to the Series X. Now why do I say that? Because on the 360 it's actually going to read the disc, where on the Series X it's really just going to use it as a license to play the disc. Because it downloads the entire game from their site, and then this is nothing more than a license. In fact, you know what, since I'm talking about that, when you're playing a game that's backwards compatible, these two, both backwards compatible on the Series X, you're really not playing these discs. You're playing a downloaded copy, and this is nothing more than your authentication to play that game. It's like the old days where you needed to have a CD-ROM or a floppy disk in your computer's drive so you could play the game that you just installed on the computer. I can't imagine why that would be given that it was a Microsoft-based operating system back then and now it's a Microsoft-based operating system, but that's neither here nor there. So, just my two cents. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please comment, if you don't mind, hitting like, hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time.